what would you say are the three main skills? If you could only learn three to reach your first million, what would those oh. be? Well, to reach, I mean, to reach the first million is you just have to sell something to someone. So it's just sales. Sales. It's just sales. One you skill. can just make a million just doing sales. Like you don't even have to sell your own products. You can just do a million dollars just selling. Right. And in order to make more in sales, you sell stuff that's more expensive. That's it. Like, yeah. <laughs> if to sell, like learn how to sell and then find the most expensive thing you possibly can to sell. And then sell that. That's over how you sell. Again. That's yeah. it. And I will tell this to everybody who's like not sure. The more expensive it is, the easier it is to sell. Really? Why is that? Because you're dealing with better people. Like you probably had a consulting client that pays you 50 grand is like, oh yeah, by the way, I sent yeah. the wire yesterday. Yeah. Whereas the $50 person's like, well, what exactly am I going to be getting <laughs> with this program? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, it's a different person. You know what I mean? You're dealing with a different avatar. And from an actual selling perspective, almost every sale is the same regardless. So you might as well just do the sales that you're getting paid $5,000 for rather sure. than the sales you're getting $20 for. Right. Like I learned, and the, the, the one thing that I will say is that if you're starting out with the intention to develop the, the skill of sales, sell in the highest volume environment possible. That's why a lot of, I think, some of the best yeah, salespeople are fitness people. Because so many people, ever, you know, you work at a LA Fitness, you get 25 memberships a day that you're, you're I mean, you're sitting out 25 consults a day. And I did that for five years, you know, wow. four years. Every day, 20 plus consults every, I was in LA Fitness at my own gym, but like, so like you get, you, there's just so much unconscious competence that you develop at that point. Like, and those, those, the time and the money, like those things become so ingrained so in how you speak nature, yeah. Yeah, and your language patterns that, um, and it, and it gives you power in all, all different areas of your life. So sales is number one. You might want to develop the skill in a high volume environment, but understand that that's not, you might make some money doing that, but the goal will then be to sell massive buildings, sell super expensive cars, sell yachts, sell jets, sell, you know what I mean? Like sell huge software packages to enterprise software. Like all of these are roles that you can make 400, a million dollars a year sure, doing. Sure. So that's, that's where you, you know, you want, and, if you, and that's a million income, not even gross. Right. That's a million income. Um, but if you just want to like make a million dollars, just reverse out a million dollars and just do it looking at daily. Yeah. So it's, you know, 3,300 a day, whatever, roughly. Um, and so at that point, it's like, okay, well, I can sell three fifteen hundred dollars things, you know, and I'll be over it. Right? Mm -hmm. I can sell one five thousand dollars thing. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I can sell, you know, what I mean, and or you could sell thirty three hundred dollars things, mm -hmm. and it's just which of those sounds easier? They're different, you know. Right. And I will say that I have this desire, maybe in the future, to like look at some sort of entrepreneurial personality type, where like I do believe that businesses are an extension of the entrepreneur in terms of like their personality, their thumbprint is on it based on just how it works. And so like I've met guys who do super high volume, really low ticket transaction. Um, and they, they're a little different than the guys who sell ultra high ticket, like mm -hmm. service based stuff. And yeah. so yeah. it's, and so I think, and I've seen people really successful on both sides. Um, but I do think that the more expensive the ticket in general, the, the less operational complexity there is, uh -huh. you still have to take, if you're going to take 10 sales calls, you might, might as well make them worth all. Exactly. You know, take <laughs> exactly. Right.